Hi, welcome once again. In this video, we will see how death fade node can be uh, used to control the opacity of the mesh. Here you can see there is a uh, black uh, mesh. However, what is important is the opacity of this material changes. On the top of uh, this sphere, it is absolutely black and at the bottom, it is a bit transparent and you can see the objects on the other side. And the control that you have is basically the distance and this distance is nothing but it shows how far that you want to see those objects which is behind this mesh. Please like this video if you find it helpful and informative and yes subscribe to our channel for more updates. Okay so let us start name it as depth fade. Okay so here we are. Fine. So what we need is something called depth fade. So you type depth F A D E here we are. Uh, in the depth fade, what we need to connect is with this opacity expression. However, this opacity is not highlighted here. So you have to make it available. Uh, go to the blend mode, select this translucent option and connect this depth fade to this opacity. Now uh, you see there is a something called opacity and there is a something called fade distance. Now we will control this both opacity and the fade distance with single vector and you need this vector uh, once you create material instance fine. Save this. The moment you save this you can see it is absolutely transparent. Why it is transparent because we have all by default the value of opacity is zero that means it is no more opaque now let us control these value so let me put one here and you will see it is visible fine now control this fade distance let me put some figures let us suppose 300 and save this okay here you can see the top portion is absolutely opaque and the bottom portion is transparent. Now what is this 300? This 300 is basically uh, unreal units. Anything within this 300 unit will be visible and beyond uh, uh, this 300 unit whatever is will be will not be visible. Now if you apply on the mesh in your uh, uh, world. Here you can see this red is visible but that black black is not visible. So why don't you increase this from 300 to possibly 800 and let's see how does it work. So system is taking its own time. Fine. Now you can see both black and blue is visible. So more you increase this unit the visibility range increases. So let me try with something. So maybe uh, let me make it 1500. Okay. Now you see even those uh, object which is far, quite far and which was earlier not visible is now visible. Uh, let me show you something. Mm. So what we have done here is uh, we have added one filter just in front of the camera and let us see how does it work. Okay, so it's the same material. So you can see there is a filter in front of camera and we will uh, see how does it work in the play mode. So this is the effect that you can get during the game. So this is something nice. I mean all these spheres which is coming out of absolute darkness. So here we can control the the distance where the spheres can be made visible. So right now it is 1500. So whatever the sphere which is coming within the range of 1500 is visible. Fine. So back. Okay. So this was all about the depth fade. Now we will see how uh, there are the different applications of depth fade. So we have created one material under the depth fade and I will show you how we have created this. I am just applying this uh, red material onto the depth fade. Now you see I have already added uh, one three vector. I just added it with the uh, emissive color. 
uh, here the emissive color is not important but just for the sake of understanding now i am just adjusting this sphere so let me just realign this here uh, you can see uh, in the edges portion there is no sharpness so there is a something you know a sort of uh, two materials uh, you know diffusion is happening fine so let me control the distance uh, here i am just controlling the distance which is 132 which i have kept 132 let me make it zero and uh, save it now you will see the edges are absolutely sharp so there is no diffusion of two materials so both these spheres are absolutely sharp and you can actually make out that yes there are two different material now let me put some figure in this uh, section of depth fade distance uh, the sharpness actually reduces there is a diffusion of two colors and this uh, can be used you know based on your wish how you want to uh, integrate two different mesh with uh, two different materials you can do a lot of permutation combinations with uh, two different you know colors so let me try this so let me have one more color and uh, let me have this lerp and i connect this with the base color okay so here we are yes so here it is yellow and what you can see there is a third color which is coming in this zone now this third color is because of this depth fade now you can control these uh, colors let us suppose if i make it absolutely red and i connect the depth fade with the b and i make it as the only color and making green as the base color i need to reconnect this okay so green being the base color and red being the second color with the depth fade uh, factor so the zone where both the materials are interacting is giving another fourth color and this fourth color is basically the diffusion of red and the other material on which the first material is being interacted and based on this you know fade distance the diffusion pattern will appear so these are the different different ways that you know you can control i mean you can control the distance and you can control the color where two materials not two materials two mesh are actually interacted and moreover uh, the the is the zone where the diffusion of the two colors you can also control that by uh, putting one vector uh, separately which you can later use in your real time uh, or maybe during the game however you have to make material instance for that okay so this is the fourth option that we have yes now this is something like you know a separate green which is coming out very prominently So this is basically the depth fade is. Uh, now the real function of depth fade would be, you know, uh, whenever you are creating snow, whenever you are creating uh, landscapes and you want two different like, you know, grass or sand, which is uh, falling onto some sort of rocks or maybe uh, some sort of, you know, dust on uh, table or any other object. So those cases you know depth fade material can be used to give a realistic uh, you know image fine you can do a lot of permutation combinations with the colors whatever you find it okay so great that's it for this video see you in the next video